In today's video, we want to go over the whole idea of projects. What sort of work ought to be classified, planned, paid for, and organized as an actual project? And we're going to begin by talking about things that should not be classified formally as projects. We'll talk about some of the criteria you can use in order to help you identify things that ought to be called projects. And then we'll give a suggested list of things also that could be thought of in terms of formal projects. So first, when we think about projects, works to be classified as projects, these things should never be classified as projects. Routine work and preventative maintenance, things that are done on a daily, ongoing basis, uh, things that are expected to happen, routine maintenance, regular routine work, preventative maintenance, these should never be classified as a project. That's just day-to-day, in-and-out work that's supposed to happen around there. So never think in terms of preventative maintenance as, as a project or uh, the routine work. That's just what those are, preventative maintenance, routine work. So when you think about, well, what should be classified as a project, one of the areas you can think about in terms of is a money threshold. If something costs more than a certain dollar amount, then that ought to be classified as a project because of how much financial investment is going into it. Uh, along with that, you can also think of time and manpower investments as well. The amount of planning and design required, there might be a threshold there as well. You'd say, well, if it takes this much planning and uh, design and all of that, then we'll classify it as a project, this much money will classify it as a project. So you can think in terms of those categories, how much of investment you're putting into it uh, to let you know what should get that formal classification. And then finally, number three, these things ought to be classified as projects because of the nature of them. If there's something that is discretionary but is supposed to happen on an annual basis, you might look at that annual uh, work that's discretionary, it doesn't have to happen, and say, you know what, this would be a good year to do that. We'll classify that as a project, fund it, man it, uh, supply for it and make it happen. So discretionary annual work, non-routine services, non-routine services, uh, those can often be classified as projects. Major repairs and renovations would definitely be classified as projects. Capital improvements would be classified as projects. And then any work that requires a high level of user involvement, and this takes us back to number two here again as well. So that list again, discretionary annual work, non-routine services, major repairs, capital improvements, work requiring a high level of user involvement, all of these things should be classified as projects, but never routine work and preventative maintenance. Uh, helpful rule of thumb, how much money are we investing? How much uh, planning and design is required to go into this to help us say, yeah, this ought to be classified as a project. If you'd like to learn more about this or related matters, underneath this video, you'll see a link. If you'll click on that link, it'll take you to the website that has that information. And while you're on that website, you'll also find a link to an ebook that's ready for immediate download.